Hello, let's draw a four-point center circle spiral given the distance P between the spiral branches. The distances between the spiral branches are the same. More precisely, the distances of intersecting points along a line through the vertices are the same as the length P, as can be seen in the top left of our screen. The four centers of the spiral will be the four vertices of a square with length exactly one-fourth of our length P. To work out this fourth, we will use Thales' theorem to divide our length P into four equal parts. So to start, we will draw a diagonal line of any angle from the left side of our given length P. Now we are going to scribe four equal measurements on the diagonal line. Then we will join the fourth point to the right end of our line segment P. And from now on, we will draw parallel segments to the previous junctions as shown in the video to the successive marks previously drawn. There we can see. So now we are going to name one of the fourths, which will be the length of one side of our square. So now in the center of the drawing, we are going to mark the first center, which will be called number one. From this center point, we will draw a horizontal line to the right, as can be seen here. So now we set our compass to the length one fourth of P, and we will transport this length onto our horizontal line, starting at point 1. Now we are going to draw a square using this length, 1 fourth of P. With our compass centered on point 1, we scribe an arc to the left, which cuts our horizontal line at a point, which will be the second center, and we continue the arc above, as shown. So now with our compass set on the second center, we will scribe another arc to the right. Now we are going to draw two perpendicular vertical lines from the first two centers until they cut our previously drawn arcs which will be our second two centers of our spiral. Now we join these centers to form a square and we will call these points 1, 2, 3 and 4 as shown here in the video. Okay, so now we are going to prolongate the four sides of the square in the direction from points 4 to 3. Again, we're going to pro prolongate from 3 to 2. And again, we're going to prolongate our square from 2 to 1. And finally, in the direction 1 to 4, as shown here. Here, I remind you that the directions of these prolongations are very important. Otherwise, you will not be able to draw the spiral properly. Okay, so now finally we are ready to draw the spiral. With our compass centered on point 1, 
and length 1,4. We scribe an arc to the left until it cuts the adjacent prolongation at point A, as can be seen here. So now continuing with our compass centered on point 2 and set to length 2A, we scribe an arc down until it cuts the prolongation at point B. Again, with our compass centered on point 3 and length 3B, we scribe an arc until it cuts the prolongation at point C. So now with our compass centered on point 4 and set to length 4C, we scribe an arc until it cuts the pro prolongation at point D. Here you can see the spiral forming from four separate circle arcs and the distance from point 4 to 4D is equal to our given length P. Theoretically, the spiral can go to infinity and we will continue drawing it until we fill the screen. So to continue the spiral with our compass centered on point 2 and length 2E, we scribe an arc down until it cuts the adjacent prolongation at point F. So let me remind you to be very careful when setting the compass lengths so as to keep the spiral branches at equal distance P. The typical errors in these exercises are not drawing the polygon correctly, setting our compass on the incorrect centers, wrong direction with the prolongations, etc. So now we have our four points center circle spiral given the distance P between branches. Thank you. I hope this video has helped you. Please, please press like or subscribe to our channel.